to the end of my show. My... Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh. Hey everyone, welcome to the Mail Call. I got lots to go over with you today. I have some gifts to show you. I have some contest winners to announce. Of course, I have some mail to open. And I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the layout. Okay, so I know Christmas was a while ago, in fact, like two months ago, but I have some gifts I wanna show you that I got for Christmas and I forgot to do in my last mail call. So the first one is this nice framed photograph of a CN locomotive from my brother Mike, the other Ram and MM Rails. And I haven't put it up yet. I'm just trying to find the perfect spot. So thanks, Mike. I love it. And the next Christmas gift I got was for my oldest boy, Daniel. He bought me a microphone for my iPhone because now I'm going to start using my iPhone to record these videos, which means we're going high def. If you go back to my old videos, I used a, a flip camera, which was standard definition, and the quality wasn't as great. So hopefully from now on, all my videos will be full HD. Today, the first thing we're going to do is check, uh, ch check the fan mail. I'm going to check all my, all my fan mail. Let's see, see what we got there. Okay, uh, it turns out we uh, I don't have any, any fan mail. Uh, so, uh, we're going to be uh, moving, moving on here. Um, yeah, uh, it's time to uh, check, check the... Check the mail. I'm gonna check my mail. I'm gonna do a, a mail call. My birthday was about a month ago, and to my surprise, Chris from Go Beer Go Home got me these two nice CN boxcars. So I'm gonna open them up. I'm gonna try them out, and I'll show what they're like. And uh, it was a complete surprise, and I'm very grateful. He also got me a turnout for my layout, and I'm very thankful. Another surprise was from Lauren at Otter Valley Rail Railroad, and he. Gave Chris and I these nice trucks from Trucks and Stuff. So I'm also going to open that up and show you what it's like. Here's a shot of the truck from Otter Valley Railroad. This one, the blue one. I think Chris has the black one. Uh, the detail is incredible. And the flatbed gives you a chance to put any kind of load that you want, any kind of cargo. So she's a beauty. So here are the two CN boxcars that Chris got me for my birthday. Two different road numbers. Very smooth. Nice weight to them. Nice detail. I can't wait to run these with a train and do some operations with them. Speaking of Chris from Go Over Here, Go Home, if you haven't already, go check out our last live show, GBO After Dark. We did it at the end of January. We have one coming up at the end of February, February 28th, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, he and I had a great time, and uh, you should check it out, end of February. Also, for the live show, rumor is Otter Valley Railroad will be sponsoring us again, and we may have some new product to show you. Uh, no promises, but that's the rumor, so check it out. Okay, so you can, you can see, you can see, uh, you can see, it's a, it's a box. I ordered um, a thing on online on eBay. It's hard, hard to open. Ah! In case you missed the live show with Chris and I, I did announce the winner of the 1,111 subscribers contest here at MM Rails. And the winner that I drew out of the hat was BNSF Milepost 108.5. He's got a great channel. Not many videos yet. But it's getting there. He's got some rail fanning videos. Uh, his last video was a channel update. Uh, I got the NCE power cab, and um, so far I like it. You know, it's um, it's different from what I originally had. Congratulations to BNSF Milepost 108.5 for winning the 1,111 subscribers contest. Also, as promised, I picked my favorite comment for that video and it goes to playing with trains. Now, if you haven't seen his comment or his channel, check out both. I will post the comment uh, shortly, 
but his channel is great. He's got a nice little layout going on. Uh, he has a dry sense of humor, like I do, so I appreciate that. And um, he's, a, he's a great guy, and also a good subscriber. So, if you get a chance, check his channel out. It's Playing With Trains. Everyone, welcome back to the Hobby Room. My name is Alex, and this is my midlife crisis. As you can see behind me, I have actually been working on the railroad and building that mountain right there. So, the phone, I got myself the phone, so I can finally make, I can call all my, I, I can make calls if I, if I you know, need to ever have a, someone to call, I can call them, you know, if it uh, comes, comes down to that. So I give it a try, I don't think it, it fell a little bit from the box, but I think, I think it's good, it doesn't, you know, no, no dings, it looks, looks like a high quality piece of machinery, you know, so let's uh, see if I can dial us in here. As promised, there's a sneak peek of the layout, and this is the new addition. So the inside main line comes off this turnout. Then there's an option of taking two tracks. And these two tracks will lead to some oil loading platforms, which are currently in the shop, getting fixed up by a fellow YouTuber. And to the left here will be uh, some industry, probably the oil plant, some oil tanks to fuel the loading platform. And then eventually I'll have another track coming off here, leading into this space, which I have an idea for, but I'm not gonna tell you just now, you have to wait. I should be getting a, 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 a dial tone right now, and I, I'm, you know, I'm not getting anything. And uh, you know, I, think, I think it makes me a little bit, a little bit disappointed. Uh, you know, I paid a, a lot of money for this on eBay, and I, uh, I think I'm kinda disappointed. I'm, I'm a, little bit dis a little bit disappointed. And the, the seller, you know, I'm going to leave some, some negative feedback because I think, I think when you buy a phone, you have to change. Okay, let's go over to the couch and see what I got in the mail. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you don't have anyone to call, you should still be able to, theoretically, if you buy a phone. And so I, I think that they, they, really, uh, they really should uh, look into their, their business model of selling uh, phones that don't work. Uh, So this comes from Boxcar Benny, also known as Creative Rails, and he was doing a live show once, and he was thinking a drink of eggnog or some kind of festive drink, and he asked his viewers, what cup is, or what movie is this cup from? And so I said, that looks like the one from National Lampoon's Crucifixion. He said, Mark, you're right, I'm going to send you a shirt. So I'm pretty sure this is what this is. Wow. Where are you going? Yep, my own Creative Rails t-shirt. This is awesome. I got the one that says, Eat, Sleep, Trains, which is pretty much true, much to my wife's chagrin. So I'm going to try it on soon, and uh, Ben, thanks a lot. This is great. Nice surprise. What do you think? Do you like it? Oh. Okay. I feel like uh, if you buy a phone, it should work as a phone. That's just it's my two cents on this side of the tracks, you know? Not bad, eh? Fits great, Ben. Thanks again. Okay, so to wrap things up, I just want to thank Lauren from Our Valley. I want to thank Chris from Go Go Home. I want to thank Ben from Creative Rails. I want to thank my family, Michael and Daniel. And I want to thank you for watching. Congratulations to BNSF from Outpost 108.5 and Playing With Trains for winning the contest. And don't forget to check out GBO After Dark, 8 p.m. Eastern on February 28th. Chris and I will be there live. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, kick there. Hello, man. Oh, oh I, I need, I need a potato. I said I was gonna quit, but I, I need a potato. I, I don't care. I don't care about you. I need a potato. Go DCC. It's so much easier. What you doing?